you'll find shipping options under the shopping cart management page. If you'd like to use a rate table and set up nonlinear shipping rates, click on basic rate table. And then we're going to choose if we want to ship by weight, price, or quantity. First, we have to create the rate table. So if we ship by price, we've set up $10, $20, and $30 ranges, and we'll charge $1 at, under the cost, $2 and $3 for any pricing that fits in between those items. Go ahead and submit it. And we need to set it up in our shipping charges. So click on Set Shipping, shipping Charges. Go down to the alternate shipping methods. We'll charge by price. We're going to check use our own rate table. We put in a name for the table and we just update it. We go out to our shopping cart checkout page. You'll see we have $10 and it's charging us $1. If we get two items at $10 each and update that it's going to charge us $2 for shipping, which is what we specified. And for three items at $30, it will charge us $3 for shipping. That's shipping by price. If we go back and adjust our rate table, we can set shipping charges again. And we can change the rate table to charge by weight. We'll do weight. That's the only change we have to make here on the shipping charges. And then we're going to go ahead and adjust our basic rate table. We're not going to be shipping by price. You can leave these filled in, but to make this easier to understand, we're going to remove it. So now we're going to charge for five pounds. We're going to charge one dollar. For ten pounds, we'll charge two dollars. And for fifteen pounds, We'll charge three dollars. We've set the VCR at five pounds so we can easily see on our shopping cart how that works. Go out to our shopping cart. We have one item. Update shipping. It's going to charge us one dollar. For two items, update it. It's going to charge us two dollars. Basically these accomplish the same thing in this pricing scenario. But if we had multiple items, if we had a VCR and we had a telephone or a cell phone and a cell phone was half the weight, then it would start changing these shipping prices. We're going to go back and show the third option on the rate table. And the third option is to use quantity. And we'll change the pricing a little bit. So if we do a quantity of five, we want to charge ten dollars for shipping. If we do fifteen or between five and fifteen we'll charge fifteen dollars for shipping and if we do up to thirty it would charge twenty dollars for shipping. So for a quantity of zero to five it's going to charge ten dollars or one to five. From six to fifteen it will charge fifteen dollars and from 16 to 30 it will charge $20. Go ahead and submit that. Then under our shipping charges we need to specify that we're using that field. Go down to alternate shipping methods and now we're going to charge by quantity. It's the only change we have to make. Update. And as we're using our rate table Go in here and we have two, which is charging us $10 for shipping, up to five. So we can put in five in here. It'll still charge us $10 for shipping right here. If we put in six, it goes up to the next level, which was $15 for shipping. So you can set by quantity, by the number of items sold, you can set by the weight or by the price using the rate table. And these can be nonlinear rates, meaning they're not so much per item. It can decrease or increase as you increase or decrease your price, quantity, or weight. That's all there is to building a rate table. There is a, 
advanced rate table and a Canadian rate table and a national rate table, and we'll go over those in separate videos.